This is a demonstration how uh, the pass analyzer node in the reconstruction workbench uh, works. I initialize a document and now I have two objects, the image file I start with this old uh, screenshot. It's an image of a figure and something in the background. And then I have the path analyzer. And when I start it, I can so they show me some extra pictures for debugging. And the first step is detect the passes in this image. So here we see how the information is used. Okay, in this image I see all the points I did not use for the processing. Then I have here a second image. This is the Kenny H detection of my example file. We have here the figure, we have the grid, we have here some helper line and some extra information here. And the next is this picture. Here I see the lines, which I will use from the image. Every line has another color. And this is still a uh, image where I see which quality the points have. Uh, green points are points which have exactly two neighbors. The pink points have more than two neighbors and the yellow one here have only one neighbor. Okay. And now I have a model of all passes. I have used a 3D model. That means every detected pass has another height. And if I look from top, I can see the complete image. We can look at the structure here in this matplotlib window again. Okay. So what I will do next, I want to analyze some of these passes and I can use the pass ID or a pass object and I also can say I use uh, the selection and I start with object 42. This is this angel here. And now I run the analyzer and what do I see? In this configuration, I see that there are three directions that interesting for me, the blue one, the red one, and the uh, green one. 
uh, in this diagram here we have the direction of the curve the next is the green line is uh, where the, the direction changes and we only have here in this area and direction change this is this position here the problem is that we have here in the image a set of pixels and we have between these uh, pixels a strong change of the direction and this is this uh, pink line here so okay what can I do I can here use uh, these parameters to get the line here and what I can do I can now create uh, two line objects here in my model which fit in the best possible way these data sets. Okay, once again we use 36. This is a circle here. And I use some other parameter, 6 and 100 so and we can see this one and what you see is uh, I have here two parameters n is the number of points in neighborhood I use to calculate the direction and what we see here is that we sometimes have some uh, distortion and with the threshold value I can say how much of these uh, errors I can ignore and we have one position and when I say uh, when I use n is 6 and the threshold 101 then I get here a circle with a radius 250 and when I go further it works and when I go back then in this moment I see there are two uh, circles detected one with uh, radius 300 and one with 200 and here in this area we cannot detect uh, a common structure uh, let's see it what does it mean what you see is this structure here it is not clear uh, is this a circle or is this uh, is this a line and if I put the threshold higher, then I can draw a complete circle. 25. Here we have the same and here I have once again a circle with radius 175 okay so uh, now I want to change the image I delete all these data and I change to 9 Three, five. OK. 
okay once more this is now the image of the figure and I start first the detection of the passes and what we see is uh, we have now exactly these weights so and now I use number 27 27 is a circle so and um, 6.99 okay I run this and bring back the curvature here. What you see is we have again here a problem because uh, the system cannot decide is this a line or is it part of a circle and what I can do I can go up with the threshold again do 101 and now I have here the circle with radius 50. twenty six is the other uh, side of the circle and here we have a radius of forty nine. The next example is uh, this wire and I use again N6 uh, and threshold in this case is 40 and the system detects here three straight lines and I can from these lines create the objects here in my 3D model. So this is the next uh, segment. We have three straight lines. Uh, with these parameters we find these three lines and here we have the places where the direction changes here and here and also you see here at the end some irregularity and this you can see in the diagram too this is here the end of the line okay and I can create in this case the passes too And here, next example, we have this image. This is the context image. And the Kenny H detection of it. So, and I look for number 16, circle. And for circles, always. 6 is a good value. We have two half circles. Again here is a place where the system cannot compute a connectivity. But if I set the value up to 100 then I see when I go to 101 I have one circle with radius 56 and I go to 15 
and then I get the same value other direction this one is open down and here the opening is up and I have the same uh, radius 56 and the last example is number one this is this path okay and now I have to change the values because now the system detects a, a large uh, circle with a radius of 1100 and it, this is too much so I go down one step and now I see I have here one two three four five six seven eight nearly straight lines this is a uh, this one the blue one is detected as a circle and okay this is still the area and and I can still customize the system but I see here first line second line is this this is the next line and you see here uh, the steps you also see here the curvature of, of this part of the line then here we have a uh, uh, circle detected this is not really true this has a good quality and here we have very good quality in this line and here again we have some errors and I see this uh, in this curvature line so once again I now uh, want to create the lines for this model I have to click this checkbox and now I analyze the path and create the exact wires and now we have here in our model both our data from the image and here the construction of exact lines and these all are as in the last examples lines from the uh, draft database uh, a workbench <laughs>